All-star action is on the menu tonight. This is Kevin Hart alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And this place is going crazy. Tonight, the exciting three-point contest. What a fun time this is going to be. It's fast-paced and action-packed, folks. This is all about concentration, guys. You get on a roll, lock into that rhythm. That's what you try to do here. Absolutely, and the crowd is completely behind you, unlike when you play a game and, and sometimes they're with or against. And watching on TV, such a different environment than a game. This is really a fun event for everyone. And so it'll be Stephen Curry here. You know, I wonder what you think about being the first one out there. There clearly are some pros and cons to it. Yeah, you know, you don't have anybody else's numbers crowding your head, so you can kind of go in fresh and set the tone. But at the same time, no matter how well you shoot, there's just no guarantee you're going to advance. Six. At seven. And he's off to a decent start. Steph catching fire now. He's in the zone. And that's his third straight good rack. He, he's rolling. And now with 16. Now with 17. Money ball, no good. That gives him 18. 19 to score. And it's 20 now. Chalk it up. His fourth in a row. He comes away with 23 points. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell... It was, it was going to be special. I think things are so much easier when a shooter gets off to a good start, and he certainly did that. And here we go with Jason Tatum. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's a good way to approach it. The shootout is all about fun for the players, for the fans. No reason to put undue pressure on yourself. It's up to his sixth consecutive make. Up to ten now. And he's in a good rhythm right now. Oh, here he goes. 11 straight. He's raining them down. This is getting ridiculous. That's 13 straight. Really a pretty shot right there. Up to 22. Oh, he's feeling it. And that puts him in first place. Wow. He's really finishing strong. And a solid score. 31 points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. And when his streak of made buckets got well into double digits, all you could say was wow. And so here's Van Vliet now. Your memory has to be very short in this format. Like less than a second. You have to put every miss right behind you. Forget about it. And with one miss, it can be easy to do that. But miss two or three in a row, and it becomes even more difficult for them to put that out of their mind. Three down, four points. Five points now. Six. That's seven. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And he buries his fifth in a row. That gives him 12. 14. One last rack remains. Make it 17. That gives him 18. Finishes his last rack with plenty of time to spare. His score sits at 18 points for the round. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. And he managed to hit four money balls. Not terrible, but, but could have been better. Here we go with Damian Lillard. An 18 or higher would keep him in contention. Gonna take some major sharpshooting to come close to beating that fella. Three down, and that's his fourth straight. That was a good rack for him. This is how you do it. He's got eight. Now nine points. A three-point rack for him right there. He needs eight points more. Eleven points. That gives him twelve. Chalk it up. His fourth in a row. And that's his third straight good rack. He's rolling. Two more points to stick around. His eighth in a row. He is on fun. Can't get the money ball. That 
makes 21. Tied for second. He's at 25. And that's his fourth straight. And a score of 27 points for the round. Wow, how about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. Money balls, so critical to knock down in this competition, and he gets six out of nine. So here we go with Zach Levine. Three. And to live another day, he's got to come up with at least 23. He knows he's got quite a mountain to climb. The score in front of him is a juicy three down. Great mechanics there. Oh, starting to get a rhythm. At seven. He's got eight. He comes away with four points on that lap. 11 points. Now he's got it. That's five straight. He's getting on a roll. Seven points more to stay alive. That gives him 18. He's finding that touch. He's in third. One rack left. He's reached 25 points. Now at 26. And with that, he reaches the second place score. He's able to total 27 points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Yeah, he had a good time out there. He hit a few in a row, and then he was off and running. I mean, he ended up burying 11 straight. So it'll be Devin Booker here. He's in a good spot getting to go last. It's no mystery how many points he needs to move on. There's no time to waste in this competition. The clock is ticking, and it's ticking fast. Yeah, but, but as a shooter, you don't want to keep peeking at the clock in between shots. You've got to keep that time in your head. Well, guys, that's it. He's out of it. He can't make up the difference, Clark, at this time. Nope, too far behind, but he'll finish up anyway. Yeah, and I think he definitely gave it his best. Just not enough in the take there. and he's got 19. He can't be upset with himself. That score is usually good enough, but it was a terrific, I mean a terrific round for, for just about everybody else. Tatum's got to be the favorite going into the finals. Don't you think, guys? And just amazing scores up to this point. I mean, these guys have pushed each other to new heights this year. I love it. Yeah, and this is exactly what you hope for coming into the shootout. Great shooters at the top of their game just battling it out. Here we go with Damian Lillard squeaked into this round with the lowest qualifying score so far. He's the first one to go in this one. The two-point balls can be the make or break factor in this event. Well, he, he handled that right well. On the money. He's hot now. His seventh consecutive basket. Ten points on the board. That's two good racks for him back-to-back. -back. 11 on the board. That gives him 12. Good for 13. How about that? Money ball, no good. And now with 16, pushes it to 18. Now 20 points. That makes it four straight for him. Now he's got it going. Stringing some very nice shooting together here. Now at 26. And he walks away with a score of 28. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. Well, how about nine straight? I mean, come on, that says a lot. It shows you how dangerous his touch is from outside. So here we go with Zach Levine. Something the shooters have to avoid here is over-adjusting if the shots aren't falling. Yeah, you don't want to start altering your release pointer or anything like that. Even if things aren't going well, that can hurt you a whole lot more than it can help. That's a streak of seven in a row. And now he's getting it going. Wasting little time. That's 11 in a row. It's a barrage of threes. 19 the score. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. Six points more, and it's tied. I like the form he's showing us, fellas. Now with 26. One more for the tie. He's got that nice rhythm going right here. That's six straight. Look out. And he racks up 30 points in all. Wow. How about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. A dozen 
in a row. I mean, like he made in that round is not easy, guys. Trust me, that was sensational shooting. And here we go with Jason Tatum. We've reached the climax. He's got one last shot to go home with the trophy. One point. That's two. Three down. Yeah. That was a good rack for him. Oh, and with that miss, he's out. Unlucky here in the final round. Yeah, just couldn't get enough to go. Two of two on the money ball. 11 straight. He's raining him down. This is getting ridiculous. That's 13 straight. This is unreal. Does he ever miss? Eight more points to secure the win. This is how you do it. One after another after another. How in the world is he doing it? One more to tie. Closing out with a bang. That'll do it. That's good. You're looking at the winner right there, folks. The rest is gravy. Masterful performance. And you got to love the flow, the confidence he's shown here. Fans are really feeling him. And he'll take that. 33 total points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. You wouldn't expect anything less out of him. I mean, this contest is perfectly suited for him. And now with everything said and done, one man has staked his claim to the trophy. This year's three-point contest champion, Jason Tatum. Such terrific sharpshooting on display. You never know who's going to take the crown. And the crowd here just loving it, guys. I mean, we've got great seats, so it definitely gives you a sense of the moment. And the drama, the excitement. This year's three-point contest had it all. It was our pleasure to bring it to you. Every shot, terrific to watch. Now, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Thank you and good night.